and as you can see here um, edu domain and there's our comment form there name mail so that's ready to leave a comment on actually by um, Akai I think it's called Akai Berry but yeah someone's already been there and done that one um, you can view the source code um, of the pages um, what else can you do uh, you can you can sort of navigate through your through your list if you want um, not found that one but yeah that's um, that's the uh, browser so you can uh, view URLs uh, you can copy you can highlight URLs uh, copy them to the clipboard you can remove them from the list um, what else can you do uh, you can paste more in there from the clipboard um, and that'll tell you how many is down there over on the right you've got uh, manage list button and or manage list section I should say and you've got remove duplicate URLs remove duplicate domains so I'll remove duplicate URLs none found remove duplicate domains 26 domains um, removed from the list so always a good idea to remove duplicate domains when you're commenting on on them because if you've got um, 20 URLs there from the one domain you know Scrapebox will, will blast through and comment on on the whole 20 URLs in you know under a minute sort of thing and I mean if you own that blog and you've been hit with 20 comments in 60 seconds you're not going to approve any of them so good idea to uh, remove all the duplicates out there so they're all uh, unique domains uh, moving down you've got trim to root uh, what this will do is strip all the um, the path off the end of the domain and just leave um, the domain so I'll do that there now and as you can see it's it's trimmed all those down uh, you've got um, check page rank you can get the page rank of the URL or the uh, root domain if I had the whole path in there I could get the page rank of this um, as well as the um, the actual page that it's on uh, check index this is only a new feature that um, came out a few days ago you can check whether these pages are indexed in um, in Google so I'll just um, quickly um, click that yep found 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 of course they're all indexed and you'll see up the top uh, whether they're indexed or not so it's a good way to um, you know see if your list of URLs is indexed um, we've got grab emails um, any URLs in here we can go ahead and uh, check them for emails. Scrapebox will, will um, go through all the pages here. Um, uh, you know, check in the pages. If there's an email, it'll grab it and pull it out. Um, so I mean, that can be good for um, you know harvesting uh, email addresses from web pages. And then they are found 31 email addresses on those 64 domains and you can save them out so I mean that's quite a handy feature for um, for some people um, I'll just close that one down you can also grab emails from a local file on your computer so um, if you've got text files, HTML pages uh, SQL databases um, you can point Scrapebox to those and it'll go through and um, get URLs uh, sorry emails out of those also um, you got export URL uh, list. There's a lot of options in here. You can export these domains out as text uh, as a HTML page. Um, so Scrapebox will actually make a HTML pages uh, with clickable links, sort of like a site map. Uh, export it as an Excel uh, spreadsheet. Uh, export it as an RSS. Uh, so this one's pretty good. Uh, you can make RSS uh, feeds with um, a whole bunch of uh, URLs on there from different domains so I mean if you've got web 2.0 profiles and that sort of thing well, you can uh, turn them into an RSS uh, page and then submit that page off to RSS sites and um, you know get all your um, backlinks uh, indexed 
Uh, what else have we got? We've got add to an existing list. So if you've got a file already on your computer and it's got a whole bunch of .edu domains on it, you can go ahead and um, add those and Scrapebox will merge your two files together. Um, you can copy all the URLs to the clipboard to um, you know, paste them into other programs. Uh, export indexed URLs, export not indexed uh, URLs. So after you do your index check, uh, you can export your list of uh, not indexed uh, pages. Then you can turn around and make a site map out of them with Scrapebox as a HTML. Upload them to your website, uh, point some links at them, and then all your pages that are not indexed, um, you can get indexed and down here we've got export URLs and uh, page rank so you can export uh, lists of URLs with the page rank value into same again HTML, Excel, CSV or text uh, so that's uh, that one <laughs> you got your harvester here which just starts and stops harvesting um, over here you've got a list button and what this one will do is it's able to transfer all the URLs in here uh, down to the commenter. Um, it doesn't save them to your PC, it's like a virtual uh, list so if I transfer them to the uh, to the uh, commenter here sorry, wrong button, open it up and there they are so all that does is saves you exporting them out as a text file and then come in and load them back in so you can just one click and send them there. Uh, you've got add URLs to existing uh, so if I already had URLs loaded in here and I've gone and harvested a few more well I could um, send that down here um, and add it to any uh, that I've got in there. Transfer, you, transfer URLs to the websites list and this one here is your, your websites, this is uh, your domain and so I mean you can you can do a uh, site um, yoursite.com and I hope that's a um, I hope that's a working domain but Hang on, I'll just get rid of that. I'll just do a plain uh, site, your site. So this should give me the ten pages, first ten pages on yoursite.com. And as you can see, we've got that. That one looks like a bad URL. I didn't show this before. You can remove it from the list. I'll remove that one for the list. So if we own this website and we want to get links to all those pages,